I have here an Aero branded stereo. I've never, I've never heard of this brand before. It is made in Japan. I guess it's probably in the mid 70s. And it used to be my great grandmother's. A few years back, this unit quit altogether for some reason, and when I pulled it out to work on it, it it, it was it was it started working again on its own. So I don't know what happened. Well, and uh, just now when I tried to play a tape in it, uh, I discovered something else was wrong. Scratch your volume control too. Usually, sometimes channel four would get really staticky. Okay, and now for the radio. I really like how that dial lights up. I don't have any antenna hooked up to it. So it's only going to get a few stations. This is the AM. Some of the rules include uh, engines, testing, aerodynamic research, factory activity, and even staffing. And then for 2010, they're going to take it down. Uh, they're going to end pit stop refueling, shorten race distances, and they're going to uh, keep with the same. There's so many wounded warriors falling on the battlefield. This radio sounds quite good. There's the same station that I have issues with on the Magnavox. There's the AFC setting. Stereo setting. It does have a stereo indicator light, but I guess it burned out or something. And sometimes it lived out a good hef, good hefty pop when I turned it off. That's usually just in the tape mode. Okay. We'll take a look inside. I don't. I, don't, I never had the bag for this. So I don't know where it's at. And I also accidentally broke off the uh, the uh, headphone jack. It, it, it's supposed to be mounted on the side. I wish they put that on the front. Where it says Maddie in Japan. Yeah. That's a good view of the 8 track section there. I would turn it on, but you can't. But you wouldn't be able to see in because the lights would be turned off. 